Hello everybody, my name is Bongane Kodide and I'm a professional storyteller. Today I'm going to read to a beautiful story that I love so much and the title of that story is Jake Green Thumb. Oh, this is one of my favorite stories. Okay, let's read more from the book. Hmm. Jake Jake was a very young man. He was a young man who admired so many things, but his favorite thing was plants. He liked plants very much. And so everyone in the community who knew, who knew Jake always gave them their plant when they had a problem. <laughs> On Monday, Mr. Vine gave Jake an ivy plant that was just not growing. How? Hmm. Let's see. Oh. On Wednesday, the ivy plant was climbing and climbing. <laughs> then on Thursday, Officer Peel gave Jake an orange tree that was just not producing oranges. <laughs> then on Saturday morning, the orange tree was full of trees. Mm. Everyone had realized that Jake was good with plants. And so on Sunday morning, Sally arrived and gave Jake a brown sunflower that was just not growing. Mm. Let's see what Jake was going to do with this one. Mm. Just when Jake was going home, he met Dr. Cohn, who also gave him one of his favorite plants. And soon, the whole community brought their plants to Jake to grow, and Jake took them. Soon, Jake's room was full of plants. He could not move around. He could not do much. He kept on watering the plants. Again and again, he watered the plants. Jake's mother had warned her that his room was going to be like a jungle. One Saturday morning, Jake woke up early in the morning and watered the, 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 the banana tree. Soon, his socks were wet because of the mud. And he realized that his socks were wet. He tried to dry the socks, but he could not. He thought that he was going to go to the bathroom and wash the socks. He looked all around. The bathroom door was nowhere to be found. He looked all around. He could not find the, the bathroom door. He was so confused, not knowing what to do. He sat quiet and thought. Because he was a very smart boy, he realized that maybe it's time he took the plants back to their owners. And soon, there was a knock on the door. Jake looked all over. He could not find the door. Again, he looked for the door. He could not find the door. He was looking all around, trying to move the banana flower, but he could not find the door. He looked all around and saw a window. Once he saw a window, he went quickly to the window. And on the window, he saw Sally coming to collect the sunflower. And that gave Jake an idea. He then started taking all the flowers back to their owners. He went to the door to open for Sally. When he got there, gave Sally the flower, took all the flowers and put them in his mobile wheelbarrow. And he pushed the barrow and went out. He pushed the barrow and down the street he went, down the street he went. And soon the whole area had received their own plans and everyone was happy everyone was celebrating because the little jake had helped them with their plans and jake loved plants that day he was so tired that when he got home he bathed after bathing then went straight to bar to bed and his mother came to tuck him in and told him a beautiful story by Zelani. Mm. And that day, Jake slept very well until he woke up again. There he was waking up and celebrating. That is the end of our story. I hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful story. It is an amazing story. And I wish that your parents can go out and get you children's books at libraries and sometimes at your nearest bookstore. Thank you very much. Hope to see you soon. Bye.